but uh, I, I love it. Uh, you know, I love seeing different jerseys, the throwback jerseys. I grew up, uh, you know, wearing throwback jerseys, appreciating the game. So when you come here, you just see all the support of, of old jerseys, uh, you know, not just NFL, but just, you know, American American sports. So uh, it's awesome. Words, you know, any German, any words for any German fans? Sir Gutz, Bovans Du, Ich heiße DeAndre, um, Danke Sean. Appreciate you. DeAndre, off the pitch, have you got any plans this weekend before the game? Um, I don't know. I got a, I got a friend out here who, who does music. His name is Saint. So I was trying to link up with him, but I don't know if we'll be able to link up before, uh, you know, Sunday. We got a busy schedule. I'm sure he does too. Uh, might go go do some shopping, but I was told I can't bring too many bags back, so <laughs> might might only get one outfit. Yeah. Where should I go? Selfridges. Selfridges in Central London. All right, I might go check street. it out. Where should I eat at? <coughs> Any suggestions? Uh, a Just find a pub. Yeah. Union, uh, find on, a pub. Uh, I can't do yeah. fish. I heard fish and chips is, is too easy. I got. <laughs> what about chicken Nando's? Nah. <laughs> you need to go there. All right. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. I mean, we're from the German television and we do a special piece about you, about your career. Um, may I ask you what, what happened to your mom? How did that affect your, your life, your career? Uh, it affected my career for the, uh, you know, obviously. It affected, you know, not just my career, but my life, uh, my family's life. So, uh, you know, that happened when I was, I was young. And, uh, you know, I use it as motivation uh, to, you know, to go out, play hard. I uh, don't complain, you know, I, I think about my mom anytime I want to complain, you know, she's blind. So uh, she, she cooks a whole Thanksgiving meal by herself, you know, without Braille. So, uh, you know, I don't complain, no excuses, uh, but it's, it's, it's taught me a lot. You know, it's definitely uh, taught me how to, you know, give my energy in certain places as well. She has a, you know, a sixth sense of, you know, of, of energy and, um, you know, that's definitely spread throughout uh, our family. You know, just in case CV's in there not sleeping. You say you've been here many times and you love the games. Um, besides that. golf, what else do you like to do when you're in the UK? Oh, uh, so Indian food. So last time I was here, uh, I went to Dishoom. It's a nice Indian restaurant. I saw that last time. It was awesome. It was really good. I had some uh, some butter chicken that tastes like it was cooked for over 24 hours. I mean, the season was perfect. Um, but obviously, you know, do a little shopping, go to Harrods, Seth Ridges, those places. But also, you know, see the sights. I went to Buckingham Palace, seen Big Ben. Uh, seeing some of the cathedrals and things like that. The thing that fascinates me more is just to think how how old the city is. Because, I mean, you talk about America. America's probably been around 400, 500 years, something like that. But, I mean, the city's so much older. They still have paved roads. Roads that I think were when they were built were made for, like, horses and stuff like that. So it's pretty small. I mean, it was cool. I mean, I just like seeing stuff like that. So it just uh, kind of kind of just amazed me to see just the, uh, the attention to detail and some of the things that's out here versus... You know, in America, we have like modern buildings and stuff like that. You be like, what are we doing as a culture? I feel like we're going back. You know, the, the art and the culture just like is taking a step back. But it's pretty cool to see. It's awesome out here. And now you said you've been here a couple of times. You've played the game here. How cool is it for you as a player to see this sport grow so much and all this media here this week, here for you guys and here for the NFL? No, it's awesome. It, it, it's good for the sport. Uh, it's good for both sides. And, um, you know, you want to be able to see the game grow into – you know, every continent, you want everybody to play this game. This game has given me so much in my life, um, and it's taught me so much because it's not just a – I mean, obviously, this is a kid's game. This is a game. But uh, for me, uh, it teaches you a lot about life, um, whether you're facing adversity, things can be going wrong, how do you respond in this game. So I think for anybody in any culture, no matter where you're at, you can learn so much about the game of football that you can kind of apply to everyday life. And last thing, shout-out to your U.K. Titans fans. U.K. Titans fans. Be root, please be rooting for us on Sunday. It's going to be an awesome game, and uh, we're going to shop for you guys. Sh tighten up. Well, it's to um, kind of pick up and pick it back up from um, you know a couple weeks ago. Um, I think at the end of the day, I, I feel like we have a great front, um, especially on the defensive side. With, you know when we when we rushing together. So um, this Sunday going to be a big challenge for us, playing against a mobile and a pretty good quarterback. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Are you feeling 100% or like pretty close for, uh, for the game? I feel great. Like I said, I've been, I feel great. I got a little banged up last week, of course, but I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm ready to, um, you know, whatever I got in the tank to give to my team to get a win. How'd you sleep on the play? Uh, it, it was okay. I, I wouldn't say I slept the best. Um, you know, I'm not a big sleeper no way. So, you know, I got I, probably like an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Um, but, you know, I watched a little film. 
um, went back over my notes. You know, took, took advantage of the opportunity. Uh, like a, I, I would say, like it's like you're getting that edge. You know, um, kind of find a, find a, a way that I could get a um, small edge, and then that's kind of what my edge was. You know, watching a little more film and um, going back over my notes a little bit. So, you know, that's what I did when I, I wasn't asleep. So.